Hey guys, if any of you guys have a Hunter X2 controller and you don't know how to set it, uh, maybe you're a first time home buyer, maybe you just had it installed and you want to know how it gets set because I know sometimes installers put them in, set them quickly. Um, you kind of do a real quick crash course on how to set it. and Maybe everything doesn't stick with you. I want to walk you through how to get the set um, to the days, the times that you want it to water. So right here we have a Hunter X2 um, and it is a six station controller, an eight station. Uh, I only use five zones, but it's eight capable. So what you want to do here is when you open it up, you should have a quick kind of setup guide on how to do it. Either way, I'll walk you through it. You have here all the dials you're going to use. I'm only going to be using uh, just this side for now on the setting part. You have these five buttons, plus, minus. This is like a next button and a back. Then you have the program here in the middle. We'll talk about that as first thing I want to do. I'm gonna go to date and time. Now there it's blinking the year. So depending what year it might be, whenever you decide to set this or it has to get reset because you lost power, you're gonna go down or up. I'm gonna go down to 2021. Then I'm gonna use this arrow here like a next button. That's the month. Again, depending on whatever month it is at the time, you would just go down or up until you got to your desired month. We're in September now. I hit next. Today's the 15th which is also correlating with the day of Wednesday. Again, just depending what day it is for you, what year, you can go up or down until you got the date and the date correct. All right, next again. Now it's gonna ask you PM, I'm hitting this up arrow, 24 hour schedule as you prefer military time, or up again for AM. I'm gonna go up until I get to the PM. When you're setting this, you wanna make sure that you have the PM and the AM correct. Because if you're to set it 1008 and it's AM right now, well then your, your system's gonna be coming out in the middle of the day just because this isn't set correctly. So I'm going to do the PM. I'll use this again like a next. We're on the hours. I'm going to go up to the 10. Hit this again like a next. Now I went over to the minutes. Again, just depending on what time it is, you go up or down. Next over, you're back at the year. So date and time has been set. Now, this is something that gets confusing for customers. You have up to four different times a day that you can start a controller or you can start the cycle. That is not zone one, zone two, zone three, zone four. That is a first start time, a second start time, a third start time, and a fourth start time, which act like alarms for your system. So at 4.45, that's the time I have mine, which we, tip we typically do it in the middle of the night just because there is less wind and you kind of get better pressure because not everybody's using, the system, not everybody's using water. Um, again though, you can change it however you want to. This changes in increments of 15 minutes. So right now I'm going down. Um, and up again, we typically do it in the middle of the night because we do it too early at night, 10 PM or so the water kind of sits all night long on the grass, which can have a higher probability of you getting bacteria or fungus. And if we do too close to the daytime, well, then the sun dries up all the water before it actually has a chance to sit in the roots. So this is going to be something that you're going to want to change. Maybe trial and error and see what works best for you. I had mine at 445. Now this at 445. It's going to turn on zone one all by itself, and then by itself, it's going to go to two, three, four, and so on and so forth, just depending how many zones you have. You do not need to add a second start time. The second start time is only, if, let's say you wanted to do it 4 a.m., and then again at like, I don't know, 10 p.m. Then you'd have a second start time. If not, just the one time of work, or you're going to run your cycle continuously, which is going to give you a really high water bill. So I'm going to leave all the rest of them off. Again, if you wanted to add them, you could. There's nothing wrong with it. You're just going to have a high water bill. So I'll leave one. And you want to make sure that you have the AM and the PM correct. You don't want this thing going off at the wrong time of the day. So that's it, 445. Again, plus, minus. That's how you're going to get to the time that you want. Now we have run times. Now we're on the sections. Now zone one. Me, myself, I have clay. So within two minutes, my ground is sucked up pretty much what it's going to suck up. Everything else is excessive. It's just going to run off. So I have mine for two minutes. So there's A, watering for two minutes. If you wanted to add time or take away time, you can. This goes up to runtime of, you can do up to six hours. I wouldn't recommend it, but it can do six hours. I need mine at two. You get to the desired minutes, you hit this next button. Now zone two, it's watering for a minute. Again, because it's close to the house and it's on the side, I don't really have big side yard, so it pretty much stays saturated while it runs. So it doesn't need a lot of time. I'll do the same thing for three is a minute, four. I actually have no time on this side for right now because uh, 
I, I had some work done here and it got real wet, so I'm letting it dry off. But if I wanted to add time, I could. Zone five is a zone I do have, but it's for my kids to play in. I just have some pipes shooting water straight up. So I only put that on when they've been good. So like I said, six capable. Altogether, my zones run four minutes. Now the days of the week that you want to water. Right there, it's blinking on Monday with the, with the water drop. That means Monday it's gonna blink with water. So Monday if I want it, I hit plus. Tuesday, I don't want it, I'll hit minus. Wednesday I do, Thursday I don't, I hit minus. Friday I do. Then Saturday, Sunday. I mean, and you can even just hit the next button all the way over. And you can water odd days. Or you can water even days. Just depending on what you want to do. Now, next thing I'm going to go. Now, everything here is set. Time and date set. When it's going to turn on. How long it's going to run for. And what days to water. The seasonal adjust. This is at 100%. Which means that 2 minutes is going to water 2 minutes. 10 minutes is going to water 10 minutes. Now, if I drop this down to 50%, in the, in the rare occasion that we get cold here in South Texas, all my times will now cut themselves in half. So I don't have to go one by one by one and reduce the time. Likewise, I can go up to probably 150%. And now my time has been a time and a half. I think it goes all the way up to 200. And again, that's for when it gets really hot and you don't want to go zone by zone. Just pick up here, seasonal adjust. The pump operation. This will only be necessary if you're using a, a, a pump to get water from a well or a basaka, or if you have a master valve installed on city lines. If you don't have the master valve installed, you're not using a pump or a basaka, don't worry about it. If you are using a master valve, you wanna make sure that it is on because if it's off, even if you turn on zone number one, it will not send, it will not send power to the master valve to engage it, which will not let any water out. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that if you do have one, it's on. Now, this manual is pretty much manual a single zone. So let's say I want to do just zone number three, nothing else. Go here to three, then I'll go to run. Now zone three is going to water for its time, and then it's going to turn itself off. Now let's just say that it's a hot day, you want it to water, but you just don't know how to turn it on. Well, your system should always be in the run position. So you want to turn it on manually? Press and hold this button, let it go. By itself, it's gonna go zone one, zone two, zone three, and zone four. Well, that's how you set your Hunter X2. Uh, there is further in-depth that you can go with it uh, when it's talking about the programs, but we can cover that another time. If you wanna know about it, just leave a comment, I'm gonna get back to you with it.